From Escape from Tarkov official Twitter, you can see that Pacific League 2023 is happening. It's a league for Tarkov players, 4 vs 4, aimed to lay the foundation of esports. It was pretty official, you can see it from the Twitter, and then they had 10k US dollar price pool. Region match happened at September 29th and 30th. From Spicy Bush channel, as you can see 3 days ago and 2 days ago, there were actual matches happening. However, the Korean side and Chinese side isn't presented. I do unfortunately have to say that the Korean teams will not be playing today due to a disqualification, meaning that Team Golden Tooth will be going through to the semi-finals. Fortunately, like I mentioned earlier, Team Dev representing Korea have been disqualified for breaching tournament rules, therefore offering a free pass into the semi-final for Team Golden Tooth. So the winner... So this is the image I got from some Korean YouTuber, which I will soon mention because I gotta show you guys clips out of it. It's the NBN tournament league one of the organizers and sponsors showed player profile and you can see there's said frog in dev 18 which is the guy we're gonna talk about today he's been banned as a cheater from most recent cheater weight ban 7800 cheaters have been banned between them there is this guy said frog sad face it's actually this guy the new tube he is saying that he's trying to teach how to fight in Tarkov, how to do PvP in Tarkov for scared noobs. Tarkov tutorial channel. He also has a streaming channel too. What's interesting about this guy is that he got banned while he claims to show how to PvP. Also, there's a bunch of videos with thumbnails telling I clapped these whole team, I clapped all these team, I clapped all these team, or like how to fight in PvP, how to win noobs learn from me it's such a shame i checked the community platform which is like level of between reddit and 4chan it's called dc inside there's multiple talks about this guy but i think this guy has the best organized story i'll read it out for you guys while translating arc of internet broadcast gallery rough summary of what was caught during the noob sanjing yeah his name is also noob sensei it's a like noob teacher the guy who got caught from cheating. This time, a competition worth $10,000 in prize money will be held sponsored by BSG and private sponsors. It is an international competition participated by the United States, China, Korea, and Australia. However, after the preliminaries, a notice was posted just before a second round of the finals. During the tournament, the band wave of the game went around and one hacker was caught in each of the two teams that advanced to the finals and one team was disqualified. As far as I know, Man Knight is the official Tarkov Discord Korean manager or something like that. So he posted official statement. We seek to provide a fair and competitive environment for all the participants. Unfortunately, we had two participants, Sad Frog, Zhao Wan, fail the BSG check. And also like you already saw the ban list that he was in there. These players were instantly banned from MBN. For the Chinese team, there were no opposing teams that were knocked out in Chinese qualifications, so the Chinese team will continue without a banned player. However, the Korean team went through a qualification with a banned player. Oh my. We regret to Im inform you that due to an unforeseen breach of NBN tournament rules, the dev team representing Korea has been disqualified. As a result, Team Golden Tooth will automatically move to the semi-finals. This hacker is exceptionally disgusting. He's calling himself Sensei, who teaches the concept to newbies how to peep. According to the contents of the contest participants, he got caught with the band wave during the preliminaries and the first round of the finals. They say it was due to a sudden band wave a day before the second game. This is the screenshot of the competition broadcast of the hacker. The enemy hiding behind the iron plate jumps and dodges to left. The opponent moved by jumping so he couldn't hear any footsteps even before the landing sound is heard. The aim follows to the left. In addition to this, practice and screaming screams before the preliminaries. A team made up of Korean streamers feel frustrated by the ridiculous play. Additionally, one member withdrew 
due to personal reasons. Excuses about that guy's ban is actually pretty interesting too. So this Korean YouTuber guy actually had some questions and answers from the guy. So he sent the email to him asking a couple of questions what he thinks about. So his first question was, why do you think you got banned? The guy who got banned is answering that he bought a used SSD claiming that he's saying that he bought a used SSD so he got banned because that used SSD is seemingly a cheater's used SSD he's claiming. Then because of that, he bought another used account and that used account got banned claiming that used account is another cheater's account. What a coincidence, right? This is already kind of weird because BSD, BSG or the league didn't check if the guy was banned before. It's really frustrating situation to be honest. Well, after that, he keeps on talking. He's, he's, he's not cheating. He's just like, he just used the used account and used the SSD. He's gonna prove with the hand camera. Gonna keep on doing YouTube and Twitch. He will say sorry about buying the used SSD and used account. And he's also saying it's a false ban. <sighs> but to be honest, the false ban um, excuses are usually buying used SSD and used account is exactly the same excuses that he's using. I watched overall this video. I think he's pretty good at the game. Aims are pretty sus too. I will show you some of the clips that look sus to you guys. I already show you one thing, but I'll show you a couple more stuff. They're pushing in from power side now. Like they just went up. One went up. Wow. Now by sorry, Connie, Connie. Ah, Jabum. He took down a bunch of videos already. It's already too sus. But anyways, he had a, like a video saying that made big streamers fill the wall. C rack. Holy shit, where is he sending those knees? Hamatiel. I can't do anything. I'm story. This doesn't make sense. He they practice so hard. And this is a, this is not the um, cheat uh, the band guy. This is um the broadcaster talks about the match, saying, "Wow, they're really good doing calmly." Pretty interesting story. And uh, we're still waiting for Arena and esports. And we all know from Counter Strike Global Offensive CS:GO, it's like a similar situation. I think. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting story. Really shame that it's, it's a Korean dude who, do, who did that. I went for like penny streamers, cheaters, sucks, and I, I made a bunch of videos about it. What do you guys think about the situation? Tell me in the comments. And also, do please leave a like if you guys like these kind of videos. If you want to check out other videos, check out the video list below. If you guys want to check me out on live stream where I kill almost no one and just play scavs, check out twitch.tv scav. And also, if you guys want to support me more, Check out the Patreon and the joining the membership in YouTube and super things. I'll see you in the next video.